Hey, good morning. It's uh, 11 April. It's about 10 after 6. I've already uh, started. It's a little bit too dark to start videoing. So, this is the Beach Restaurant and Bar. What an original name. So, I did a little bit here in the dry sand. Got a couple coins. And I'm going to play up in the dry sand until the water goes down. It makes me uh, able to pass that rocky point over there. Out there. Unless I can get around it by going back up to the road. We'll see. Low tide's at 7.44. That's in about an hour, hour and a half. That may recede prior to that. But anyhow, we're going to see what we do today. It's the weekend. It's Saturday and Sunday. We'll see if the uh, local, and, excuse me, local and foreign tourists flock to cow lock and throngs and bustles and See if we get a bunch of folks here for song crime. Thai New Year. That officially starts Monday. We'll see what happens. Anyhow, uh, off to the hunt. All right, it's about 7.45. I've been on here 45 minutes. Mostly up in the dry sand. And I found a uh, beach chair heaven. There's hundreds of them here. They do have these really cool little elephant stands to hold them instead of just a straight up and down hollow pipe. Any other a resort, there's a restaurant. I think the restaurant's on this side of the street and the resort is across the street. I guess if there's another tsunami they'll sacrifice the restaurant but not the resort. And I'm sitting up on the break wall behind a bunch of rocks. Big rocks. So that's the protection from the next Tsunami, whatever that may be. Anyhow, I'm going to play the dry sand a bit more and wait for the tide to go down so I can get past this. And uh, yeah, that should be the next half hour because low tide's about an hour away. All right, we'll check you later. Hey, it's about uh, 7.15. I just made my way past the uh, break wall and the big rocks. Got a little wet, not too bad. Another area here with another restaurant for you back there. Clear way to have them over there. And while waiting for the water to recede, I uh, kept my first drink. Kind of a weird little thing. It's a bunch of uh, separate little bands. I'm guessing junker, but I don't know, maybe silver. It's kind of weird. Anyhow, rings a ring. Something different than the coins I've been getting. I got that in the wet sand, uh, probably a hundred feet from the water. Near the top of the, almost to where those beach chairs and umbrellas were, and a volleyball net. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take five and uh, continue. Which way is this? This way is north. Yep, we'll check you later. Alrighty, it's uh, almost 8 o'clock. I just waded across the 6 inch deep uh, river there. It splits and goes that way, and it splits and goes this way. There's more stuff uh, further north, not a whole lot. I see some tables and chairs. And I see a lot of sloped beach, but, and about five people way down there. And I also came upon. Uh, it's a big jelly. Just to compare, I hope this can be seen. We have mean glare from the sun. He's a big one. Well, yeah, I'm gonna play here on this little uh, sandbar kind of thing for a while, and then uh, head up to that dry sand area. Maybe get some breakfast up there. We'll check you out later. Alright, it's uh, 8.30. Just got done giving a demonstration to four local ties here. So I want to get a 5 baht coin and a 2 baht coin. That was kind of fun. I'm going to work my way back. I'm being attacked by red ants here right now, which is no fun. 
And I just found some kind of coin that I'm going to check back in the room. I don't know what it is. But it's a lovely day. Surf's starting to come in. Tide coming in. I'm going to do some more dry sand and then uh, head on back to the room. And we'll check you later. Alrighty, we're back uh, for the poolside roundup. Got some Gatorade. Got the ring. It's a junker. There's something different. And we've got uh, 30, 40, 50, 55, 59, 63 bots. Yeah, some kind of Euro coin. And some more 16 or you know, 10 cents, 20 cents, 20 cents. I don't know from where. I haven't got my magnifying glass and my glasses aren't that good. And we got this thing. I don't know what it is. But I can see that there's a. Uh, Something under the pitted sand there. So we're going to try and clean her up and see what it is. It's pretty big. I mean, compared to a, you know, a 10 rat coin. So anyhow, not a bad day. About two and a half hours hunting. Some wet, some dry. Now it's time for a swim after I finish my Gatorade. So thanks for watching. Uh, good luck. Happy hunting. And you already know about the last one in the pool. Check you later. Alrighty, uh, today's the 12th, I just wanted to show you this uh, token or medallion or whatever I found yesterday. It's got the uh, mandala on one side. It's cleaned up pretty nice. Red Bull works pretty well. And it's got a name on the back. And it's a German name, G-U-D-R-U-N for Renz. I looked it up on uh, you know Google and found out she's an author in Germany. But she doesn't have a Facebook page or an email address. So I went to a metal detecting talk uh, Facebook community. And one of the guys there helped me out and said she wrote a book with someone else. And I sent an email to that person. Mm -hmm. Haven't gotten a reply back yet, but I don't even know if she wants it back or not. But I'm trying to get it back to her. But anyhow, that's the story of this thing. Cleaned up pretty nice, called the sand off, and then soaked in Red Bull. All right, so uh, we'll let you know what happens and if I do find the owner.